So we'll move on to Jack Briscoe because uh, that's your uncle, of course. One of the greatest wrestlers of all time, one of the greatest technicians of all time, without a doubt, a legitimate amateur wrestling champion. Uh, any stories about your uncle Jack you'd like to share with us? Man, my uncle, he was, he was a man. He was one of those guys that could just walk into the room and everybody respected him. He didn't have to say nothing. You could just tell by the way he walked by the way he talked. And my uncle was, well, he meant the world to me. And uh, I, I could always remember when I was uh, training to be an amateur wrestler, he would always drive, because my dad and my uncle lived kind of close to each other. So they would always, uh, my uncle would, would do my running rounds, because I would always have to, I would always, my dad would always make me run extra. He's like, while you're sleeping, guess what your opponent's doing? He's training. So of course, you know, I'm running. And my uncle knew my running schedule, so my uncle would come in his old beat-up pickup truck, and he would roll down the windows, and he would just sit there and just talk with me. And it's the craziest thing is that uh, The day that uh, I finally got up the nerve for him to come up to me, uh, press no wrestle, <sighs> was the night that he passed away. So he never got to see me in that ring. I know he's watching from up above, but that was one thing that uh, I truly wish he would have got to see. And I only had one meeting with him. It was at the 2004 Cauliflower Alley Club. I was too, I remember he walked into an elevator and he had that presence about him. I remember shaking his hand, but that's all that I remember. But I just remember you could feel a presence about him. He had that charisma that you could feel guys like Hulk Hogan have and Steve Austin.